All right, I'm struggling over here. I'm str I need I need help. I need a spirit bomb to guide my way, please. The first mirror match that I saw was a Biakia mirror match. I don't want to fuck you. <laughs> I want to start on that. Oh come on! Oh thank God you're the savior. Uh, the first mirror match that I saw was Biakia, and then it was Akatsuki. And then you just saw the Seth Mir match. Ooh, are we about to see the end of a dynasty? Five matches, five wins. Even using the default color, the boy couldn't even be bothered. Oh my lord. No, we're seeing the start of the dynasty. That. Gets the reset and then doesn't actually do anything. Like, he didn't even, I, as far as I'm aware, he didn't even press a button or nothing. He just stood there and stared him down, like, what you gonna do, old man? Okay, hit, we're hitting buttons now. Drops the combo, though. Good patience. Good patience! Didn't hit confirm it, though. I thought he had something good going on for a moment. Alas, it did not happen. Oh, come on, son. Pardon? <laughs> I would love to see a hitbox viewer at this very moment, because I want to know what the hell just happened. That did not make sense. It really is. Like, this other Volstein is playing so scared. And just letting this one... Just letting this one kind of do whatever the hell he wants. He's being so proactive and, like... Playing the game like you should. And this other guy is just sitting there like... Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm very confused. I'm an old man and things are happening. And I don't know how to account for them. That was just a very strange match to watch. Because, the, again, the other dude just looked so utterly lost. It was weird. That was very weird. Very weird one to start off with. Ooh, that's not a good counter hit for Ori to be hit by. My little Oreo cracker. My little Oreo cracker. I just don't understand. Ori A. Good patience. Good bait! Kind of a lot of damage, too. That's definitely gonna make her second guess using that parry again. The patience by the user Riho. Waited for her turn. Got it. Took advantage of it. Got the hell out of there. Now kind of has the corner to herself. Good use of Vorpal. <sighs> Didn't get the wall bounce. That teleport moved the screen too far over. Oh, is she dead? Is she dead? Is she dead? We got 200 meter to work with. Double super. Still alive. Staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Sorry. I'm in a weird mood if you can't tell. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, the user Ria actually took it. Didn't use any of her meter in the process. And Ori doesn't even have 50. That's tilting. Dash up 3C counter hit, but counter hits the parry again. Wasn't baited that time, just a really, really bad parry. Ooh, gets the veil off. This is a lot of resources to work with. That was tricky. I honestly would have thought, ouch. Gets all those resources to work with and honestly might not get to use them at all. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up infinite word? What the hell? Why does her knee have a hitbox in that move? She's doing a falling elbow drop, but her legs apparently are part of the hitbox. But why? <laughs> she tried to parry again. He's 0 for 3. 
Stop using that move. She's 0 for 4. Stop using that move. Oh my god. Let's see if we can continue the trend. I'm gonna go for a solid 0 for 7 by the end of this. We'll see. Ooh, we're one for five. I'm wrong. I was. Say, I even said internally, you, you'll just have to believe me. I should have said it out loud. Or he's going to do some staggered pressure and use the Riha's going to do... That's 4C, right? A 4C. The second, like, it's clear that she's doing staggered pressure. And she did it. But the Ori didn't see it coming. I think she did it again. I'm not going to officially declare it because I honestly don't know for sure. But I feel like she was starting to do the turn. Like she was trying to hard call out that uh, thrust. And it didn't work out. Bap, bap. Oh, she dead. She not living through three supers this time. You dead. Well done by the Ori to actually manage to take that. I would have been tilted into the stratosphere and I would not have been able to focus. <laughs> After that first round. I would have just been done. Like, no. Nope. Tap me out. Get me out of here. I don't want no part of this. Game sucks. Fighting games suck. Let me go back to my JRPGs where I can just grind my problems away. <laughs> Speaking of, god damn it, I got Trails of Cold Steel 3. Haven't actually played it yet. But that is going to be a grind. I hope Xseed, not Xseed, Xseed is the company that did good, did well for the Trails of Cold Steel, Trails series in general. They gave that shit their all, and then they lost it to NIS anyway. But, uh, NIS also took over East and did not do well with that localization. So, Trails of Cold Steel is a hell of a lot bigger when it comes to, like, the amount of translation to do. So I sure hope they did better with that because they got lambasted. And as far as I'm aware, like, they said they would do a patch to fix it, and they did fix some things, but they never really... It wasn't... It still had problems. It was like, it went from... We basically just ran the entire script through Google Translate and left it as it is, because fuck effort. To... Alright, these are some pretty bad examples. Like, these, this is the worst of the worst. We'll fix those, but we're going to leave a lot of other questionable stuff there, because who, who wants to put effort into their jobs? Who respects themselves? We certainly don't respect you. So here's hoping they did actually show the series some respect, and we'll find out. Good dodge is super. Well done. Oh. Good assault. It's unfortunate for Lene. Drops the combo though. Just gets all the Vorpal. Takes all the Vorpal away. Even lost it at the end. That feels so bad for Lene. Come to think of it. Hyde looks a little bit like Reen with this color palette, to be honest. Like, even down to the uniform that he's wearing. Like, that's honestly... If that was just a white coat instead, this would basically be Reen. From Trails. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to watch Seth. It's still tilting me. The, I st we still don't know what Enkidu's changes are for Uniclear. And I'm sure, I mean, it tilts other people with their characters as well that have not, like, we have no announcement. They haven't been part of a testable build yet, so nobody knows what their changes are. But it's like, at least most people for their characters got a look at what's changed in the trailer where they saw their character with a new move or a new property or something like that. But we saw Enkidu, and he didn't show shit. 
we just saw him doing his 5 BBB Rekka chain. <laughs> that was it. Because honestly, I really do feel like Enkidu basically needs two changes. Well, not, not not two changes, it would be more than two changes, but two, like, universally applied changes to the entirety of his character. That is... I apparently got some soreness going on right around here, and doing that just activated it, and that was uncomfortable. Anyway, give him... He needs the Nanase treatment, where some of his buttons need to have their hitboxes actually match the animation, because some of them just don't. Moves like his 2C being particular standouts. So he needs that, for sure. Because that was a big reason why Nanase is actually went from being a low-tier character in the first version to actually being pretty damn real in this version. It was largely just because of that one change. And then... Um... His frame data needs to not... He needs to not be negative 20 or more on every goddamn C button he has. That would be nice. There are some, there are many other things that he could use, which have been discussed in length in the Enkidu Discord. And they would certainly be nice, you know, quality of life changes, make him better, yada yada. But I feel like a lot of them are just kind of like, that's what they are. It's just, this would be nice. Whereas the two that I mentioned are basically necessities. Oh, I don't, watch, I don't watch the Jungle Book now. How was the remake of the Jungle Book, the live-action one? I think, wasn't it pretty good, as far as I'm aware? I can't, I, like, I never actually looked into it, because it's just, like, for me personally, it's so unnecessary, because the old ones are pretty timeless, like, there's nothing that you can look... I mean, I shouldn't say there's nothing, but, like... I would rather... Just go back... And watch the old... Versions of them. Than see a new one, because they're still perfectly fine. But then, you take it... Like, I guess, again, I don't know how the remake of the Jungle Book was... Uh, received. But when it comes like, The Lion King... It, it has no soul. Like, it could very well be a good movie, I don't know, but I can look at it and understand that, like... There's taking realism too far. You got a bunch of talking animals... ...in a musical... ...that are just... ...going nuts and having fun. Why are you removing the fun? I mean, number, so number one, number one, number one, big thing, no Jeremy Irons is Scar? Get the fuck out of here, you should have instantly been like, nope, nope, we can't do this no more, Jeremy, Ar Jeremy Irons doesn't want to be Scar, we can't do this, project's done. But then on top of that, they took Be Prepared out of the movie? Like, these, like, gotta be one of the most iconic songs in all of Disney history, and it's just not there? Dude. That's unacceptable. I will never watch that movie for that one. I mean, there are many other reasons why uh, the animated of uh, the animated one. They're both animated. But get the point. Um, the older version is superior, but that's just a deal breaker to me. Because it really does feel like a lot of the things were basically like... I mean, this is just kind of Disney in general. Where... They're doing this not because it's the best decision, they're doing this to make money. So like, Beyonce is Nala. She's not a great actress. She's okay. But when you have one of Disney's most iconic properties, and you're bringing it back, you can pick whoever the hell you want. Anybody. You can, anybody will be interested in that role. And you basically pick the person that you know can sing a couple songs, put some singles on the chart, and sell mad copies of it. So you don't do what's best for the movie, you do what's best for the bank account. I don't respect that. 
at all. There's too much hide. This man has an 81% fucking win rate? Dude! Why weren't you evil? You should have been. You could have gotten sponsored. Because, as we all know, sponsors are lining up outside the doors for them anime games. Ooh. Let's go in, Kidu. I'm not feeling these combos too much, but let's go in, Kidu. Okay! Okay, what you got after the... You don't gotta feel combos when this man's got the confidence to 3C raw in neutral, not even as a reaction, just like, let me throw this out real quick and see what happens. This dude got balls. That's why he needs pants that big to hide the size... <laughs> to hide. Ha! The size of his balls. Like, good. I can't believe he did that. What a bad bitch! Didn't he confirm it, though? Gabela gets away from the plus frames. With the weird break. I don't really understand why that's a lot of people's reaction to the Rekkas. But a lot of people do that. They stand up after you hit them with one Rekka. It's not like you have an overhead follow-up. No! That's tragic! He wouldn't have been able to kill off of it, but he would have been very close. And number one, he wouldn't have he would not have gotten hit right. Oh, he's getting punished for that. He is so dead if this combo finishes. Oof. That was a very, very quick turnaround. And Kidu damn near had that in the bag. But he dropped the combo. That's not good. Oof. Oh no. He was doing so well. It's like this game was a big fat tug of war. Like, Enkidu started off with the perfect, and then it was pretty even in the second round, and now it ends with the perfect on Hyde's side. So it just, Hyde was a little bit surprised by the strength of Enkidu at the start, wasn't prepared for it, stumbled forward a little bit, damn near got pulled all the way to a loss, and then was like, all right, let me get my footing real quick, remind myself how damn strong I am, and let me show you. And Flareon showed him. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Alright, Nanase. I'm relying on you to show this dude the door. Don't let Batista succeed, please. In anything. Oh, what a back dash. Oh, very nice 2C. Ah, that's always a little awkward. To hit confirm with that route in the corner. I can't remember... It's been so damn long since I've played Nanase, but I do specifically remember that I hated doing that route, and I did something else because of how easy it was to do that. Just jump through them. Oh! What a hit confirm. Seems like she probably could have extended that combo a little bit more, but... It being Batista, I certainly cannot know, say that for sure. Was that a punish? That should have been a hit confirm. Okay. We're getting started. Dropping the combo, getting DP'd for her trouble. Still alive though, has grid. I should say has Vorpal. Can't get shipped out. I cannot believe that actually worked. What a backdash. Oh. Probably could have punished that to be honest. It looked like Nanase recovered in time that if she had pressed like 5B or something, she might have been able to punish. But again, that's just a feeling I got, not something I can say with absolute certainty. Good adjustment right there. I, it was very strange. Like, didn't that cross under look strange? It, did, it looked like she should not have been on that side. I would have definitely done a follow-up as if I was still on the same side. Okay, that probably means that the previous one was not a punish. Batista just wasn't ready for her to be able to do that. I was just thinking, I haven't seen an instant overhead yet in this match. Not to be, I mean, to be entirely fair, the Batista hasn't really had this Nase in block strings. 
And then right when I think it, there it is. I thought well, I was about to see something tricky, but then she just put herself into recovery. Thanks to the projectile. Ooh, no punish. But there's a punish. Good way of punish. Takes it. Fuck Batista. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Ah, I can't end on that one. Alright, what can we end on? A Gordo? Oh, there we go. A Gordo. How unbalanced do you think this is? Fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's not go for it. <laughs> That's gotta be pretty damn unbalanced. I can go for that. Oh, we did see a Wagner earlier. We haven't seen a Carmine. And we only saw a very, very, very one-sided Waldstein? We basically saw training mode Vald? Which that doesn't count. You need a balanced match. Just like you need a balanced breakfast to start your day off. What in the hell button did Carmine just throw out? It was definitely not one he should have thrown out. That was a good one. I like the look of that combo, but it definitely was not a good combo. Because it just reset neutral. You don't want to reset things. You don't want to reset things for Waldstein, because he's just going to run at you like this. You need to put him on the back foot. But now he's cornered. And he's not having fun. It's so plus. I cannot believe. Every single time I see it, I still cannot believe how plus... Delayed command grab, good night. Sleep tight. Damn. That hurts. That had to have been a mistake. I don't know what he could have been going for there, but. That's definitely, like, round star command grab, definitely not something that's gonna work out for you. That's something that would work out for Vol. Because this actually has distance, but Carmine, you have to be right next to somebody. And Vol can't move, can't even move forward that fast himself. Like, maybe it was a mental break attempt. Where he just does it, and the Vault is like, wait, what? And now he's stuck processing what just happened causing him to lose the round potentially the entire match this carmine is operating operating on a completely different mental plane than the rest of us i didn't understand but he knew the entire time that he should have teched that <laughs> that's unfortunate <laughs> oh no i popped off too hard and the universe is restoring balance never mind i didn't know he tossed him behind like that I thought he stayed on the same side. I'm confused. What a combo. What a combo. Bad setup. Oh! Okay, never mind. That definitely should have led to a punish. But unfortunately, he went for the command grab again. Just dove into the sight? It's not really a sight. What would you call that? Well, that's basically just a shuriken. That's a bummer. He did. Is he dead? Yeah, he did. Damn. That Carmine had that. He should have won. That is unfortunate. Not quite as Galaxy Brain as I thought he was. But it was close. 